Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be going over the slice tools by Slice Products. So the tools that I'm using today were very kindly sent to me by Slice Products. Um, the, I have already purchased one of the manual blades before and I absolutely loved it and then they very kindly sent me two more to try out. So that's what you'll see in today's video. Um, so the tools that I'm using are the manual pen cutter and the auto retractable pen cutter as well as the craft knife. So as you can see on the video this is the manual pen cutter and the auto retractable pen cutter. So the manual one is the orange one and the auto retractable is the green one. As you can see the manual one kind of stays up when you push it and the auto retractable one yeah, kind of auto retracts. Uh, so the blade goes down nice and safely. So but as you can see I'm just kind of prepping the paper before I use the slice tool. The paper I'm using is a De La Rowney Aquafine hot press paper and the pencils are the Grand Dash Museum Aquarelle pencils. So before you use these tools it's important to kind of create a base. If you're using these, um, if you're using the pencils dry, sorry, then you kind of want to put like a light colour down like a white or a grey or a cream colour and then use your pencils as normal on top of that. For me I like to create a nice wet base, again this is quite light, and then use all of the pencils dry on top. So if you do not do this base it kind of won't lift to that nice highlight that you like. You need the nice light colour underneath otherwise it, the size tool just won't lift as well unfortunately. But that's fine and it's really not too much of a problem. Just put down a nice colour and then work over the top of it and it lifts off beautifully. Uh, you do need some pigment down before you can use a size tool because again if you don't put too much layers down then it won't lift out. It'll kind of not scratch on the paper but it just won't work as well so you need quite a few layers for the size tool to work. So as you can see I'm just building up my dry layers on top of the wet that I did before. So as you can see I'm just kind of adding little finishing touches, I've completely kind of covered the area now and this is the area that I'm going to use the size tool on. So I just added a few highlights with the white pencil but then I'm going to go in with the manual size cutter and add in some little wispy hairs. So here you can see I've got the manual pen cutter, just push that knife up. And I kind of twist the top as well so it's nice and stable. And then I hold it kind of at a little angle so the blade is kind of pointing up. So the largest part of the surface area, the thickest part of the knife, is going to touch the paper. If I use the thinner part it really won't lift too much pigment. So I just use the largest part and then kind of use that to lift the pigment off. So as you can see I'm just using a really light hand and it's just lifting that pigment off beautifully. It's getting back down to the colour that we put down before. So if you want it lighter, maybe put down a lighter colour as the base and then everything else on top. But this is the effect that I wanted, so that's how I did mine. And again, just getting those nice little wispy hairs. Absolutely perfect for this wiry coat type of texture. I really love it for yeah, the stray hairs and like a rough texture. You can also use it for highlights and whiskers. Um, but personally, this is where I absolutely love this size cutter on this wispy hair texture. So if you don't know anything about the size tool, it is a longer lasting ceramic blade, safety blade, it never rusts and it is non-magnetic. It's quite easy to change as well on the manual pen cutter, you can take it out and then re turn the blade around and then you've got another use out of it because it's double sided. The craft knife isn't and that's what's seen in this video here, on the second part, sorry. So you've got two blades, you can see the ceramic um, craft knife and then the manual pen cutter. Uh, the pen cutter is a little bit thicker and the craft knife is obviously a little bit thinner. Um, so the craft knife is the one on the top and then the manual pen cutter is the one underneath. So I like the craft knife again just because it kind of creates a little bit of a thinner line than the pen cutter. So I'm just using it kind of on the side of the face where the hair is a little bit thinner, it's not quite as thick. I mean, it's kind of the blend in between his face and the mane. 
so this is where I really liked using the craft knife. These were really short little strokes, again tilting the craft knife ever so slightly so it's the thicker part of the ceramic blade rather than the thinnest part. Now these blades shouldn't cut your paper, they are quite nice and gentle blades so they shouldn't damage the paper at all, they should just lift off the top of the pigment. Again I do use a really nice light hand for this, I don't have to press on at all. And just creating really soft little wispy hairs there. And as you can see that's really already made such a difference to this piece. Now these hairs are quite sharp and um, very strong predominant hairs so I tend to go over these once I've completely finished the piece with the slice tool. Um, I go over it with a nice light pencil like I think I'll use the light flesh in this piece and I just kind of softened up those lines a little bit just by going over the marks that I made and it kind of blended those lines into the piece a little bit. The harsher line is quite good for whiskers though, so if you want to use get a nice harsh bold whisker, these tools are perfect and you don't really need to go over them afterwards. Again this is just how I use them, there's no kind of right or wrong way, it's just personal preference and this is what I found works for me best. Um, I completely recommend both of these tools, they are so useful, especially with a piece like a lion where the hair is so intricate, so wispy, and it's got that like really kind of coarse texture. You can use it for a softer texture as well on highlights, um, but yeah, it was just such a game changer for this lion piece. If you are interested in purchasing these slice tools, I do have a code, and it's Shanna10, and you get 10% off the website, so please check it out and let me know if you use it. Um, if you found this video helpful, please let me know, I really appreciate it. And thank you so, so much for watching. Goodbye!